Hello everybody, in this video I would like to share my experience of using ChatGPT to build iOS home screen widget. So I was need to monitor exchange rate of my local bank and I found this API which basically uh, provide you current exchange rate at the moment. So I was thought it would be cool to have this uh, home script widget on my phone, but I never built it before. So I thought maybe ChatGPT can help me. So I had this prompt. This is how I started. And yeah, in this video, I would like to recreate this experience. Okay, let's start with just copying my initial prompt and select GPT-4 model. I'm using chat GPT paid subscription. Uh, put it in the chat and let's have a look uh, what my actual prompt was. How to create iOS widget which do IPI request get currency exchange rate and show it in the widget. IPI endpoint with endpoint URL and response example. Okay, so far I see that response is different from what I had initially. Yeah, we will try to do it in the new way. Just follow what ChatGPT provide us. Okay, it's failed. We can ask regenerate response since previous one is failed and let's take a look. Okay, I, I think this one is closer to what I have first time. So let's start follow the commands. Well generated all the output and it says first create a new SwiftUI project if you haven't already. Open Xcode. home widget add new target to widget by going to file new target select uh, widget extension and give it name so let's copy the name and follow the instruction file new target uh, we need to find widget extension uh, let's use suggested name activate so now we have generated widget. This is what we need. Ah, it's felt again. Uh, it's quite unstable today, so uh, maybe I just wait while it's finished generation first, then I will start again. Last time I used it, everything was fine. Okay, I think we get some generation and let's ask to continue generating. And meanwhile, I think we can start from scratch. So the first steps is actually create the project and create the widget. We already did it and now we can define the widget data. So next you need to define the data that your widget will display. This will be the response from the API. Okay. Open currency widget Swift. Yeah, this is, this is suggest us create some struct. So I guess we can just copy it in the top.
Now replace the simple entry struct with one that uses your currency data. So yeah, we create some data structure as you can see and now we would like to use this data structure type for some entry data. Let's do this. Let's find simple entry and we look in timeline entry. Yeah, here what it is and date, date and instead of configuration oh here is some configuration intent I don't know what it is but let's replace it we can use different strategy we can ask we can provide this whole code um, maybe from this point to the end and ask uh, chat GPT what how should I change it how should I rewrite following code So I basically copy paste the uh, everything I have this default code and I expect ChatGPT will generate me some code I can use just directly replace in the initial one. I'm right now it's writing everything in the one code snippet which is I guess what we need uh, currency change widget previews okay it's stuck again but or reached some limit but I guess it actually the end or no I think we still need it but yeah so instead of regenerate and continue let's do a different way and ask continue from the line uh, continue from the following line in code snip So I think we can copy this part. Oh, sorry. So in this part is unfinished. Currency exchange widget previews. Yeah, this is I think what it is. Now we have some errors. Okay, I have the different way to copy it. So let's write I have following error in okay, it rewrite this struct. So let's try. 
this one instead. And see if we can build it. No, we still have the error. No, I still not really understand so. Let's keep using ChatGPT until he provides us something that we can really use. I think it's a bit different, so let's try this one. Try to build it. Eh, you see, it's actually building. So let's run. So this is okay. We run the target of our widget, but maybe we need uh, run the application itself first. Let's stop everything first and then, yeah, try to run it. I think this is our application, yeah, home widget. And now we can try to add widget. You see the widget is appeared here. And we have the result. This is our widget. Let's remove this one. And yeah, this is basically it. Uh, you can uh, ask chat GPT to modify it as you want. Maybe let's do one more step like to see how we can keep building the app. And you see it shows the euro uh, exchange rate, but I actually want to see USD. So let's ask chat GPT uh, I have your exchange rate in the widget you rewrite for to have use the instead so we need to go to the get snapshot function and yeah if you look at the code it took the data uh, from the api but just pick the first one yeah, just for the simplicity of the video, let's just uh, try replace the function. But yeah, in real life, you of course you won't dive a bit in the code and understand what what it's doing to do a better prompt. Yeah, but just to keep this video simple, we just quickly copy and paste everything and. Now you see we have the different different currency USD as we want it. Its value is also different and we can actually confirm it's correct by open you see the USD is the value is the same as on the widget. And yeah and you can keep building the app step by step asking the ChatGPT 
if you can see in my old uh, prompt history chat I have long conversation and I built actually up with table it calcul it saves the data it calculates how it was changed since last fetch etc you can style it and everything and I don't really have Swift UI experience or I never really built uh, Swift apps I, I have some real knowledge uh, because I'm doing React Native developer sometimes you need to do API but it's so rare case so I, you run it you write some code and just forget how the Swift is working so basically without uh, chat GPT this widget will took me a lot of amount of time to read all the docs try tutorials what like fix the error and everything so yeah it's super like easier and faster to start some project fix some errors uh, it of course it will not replace and not build you the app in one prompt but it speed ups you a, a lot thank you for the watching we'll see you in the new videos